Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the transmission fluid on this Hyundai E10. Luckily on this engine, you've got an automatic transmission fluid dipstick, which can be used. And also we're going to fill up through this point. So lift the car and place it on jack stand, at least in the front. It's also a good idea to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. And if you have a look inside the wheel arch, you're going to find this plastic cover, which you got to take it out. So in order to take out this panel, you've got two 10 millimeters down here and then two more up there. So as you can see, guys, we've got here the transmission panel and down there is the oil panel. We got to work on this one. You've got here the drain bolt. And then you've got a bunch of small bolts which holds this panel on. And you can see in between the panel and the transmission, there is a gasket maker. So you don't have an original gasket, you gotta make yourself. So you'll need a gasket maker in order to complete this job. All right, so with a 24 millimeter socket, you can begin to drain the fluid as you will do with the oil. Let's have prepared the container under. I'm gonna keep applying the pressure while I open it. So now I can see that the bolt is almost out. I'm gonna take it very fast, just like that. As you can see, there is no much mess. All right, so after 10 minutes or so, now the fluid is dripping, so I'm going to put back the plug. Now you can begin to open these 10 millimeter bolts around. I'm going to leave like only three in position to hold a little bit the panel and then for the last three I'm going to keep my hand here and then take it out. So let's see. The panel is hold it on by that gasket and the last three bolts I have them here and I just loose them halfway and in that way I can pry out the panel without the panel falling. So let's see. As you can see, we've got here the dipstick. So with a 10 millimeter, let's take out the filter as well. And again, have prepared the container under because the filter might release a lot of fluid. Okay. Down here we've got all the solenoids and the actuators which will change the gears. Hopefully in another video I'm going to show you what to look for in the case that the transmission is bad. Now it's very important to change the filter as well because this will collect small particles of metal which will be coming from the gears and all the moving parts inside the transmission. Alright, so from this point you can use some sort of plastic scraper to remove all this old gasket around the panel and on the transmission down there. Now on the new filter, make sure that you've got the gasket on, press it in there. It goes in this way, then secure it with the bolts, which they have to go very easy by hand. Do not force them because if you force them, it means that the filter is not in the right position. Then you gotta torque them to five foot pounds. And now it's time to prepare the panel and install it back. Now it's time to install back the panel. Make sure that you put it in from the first try and do not wiggle it too much in there. Obviously you've got the gasket maker, which you want to fit in there perfectly. So I'm going to Install the bolts by hand first. All right, so now it's time to torque them down to nine foot pounds, which is gonna be around 13 Newton meters.
All right, so now it's time to put the cover back. Now, before even doing this job, make sure that you've got the right transmission fluid. It's very important because the automatic transmissions usually are very sensitive to the fluid you are going to be adding. So make sure that you've got the right one. It has to be Hyundai original or something that's Hyundai approved. So now let's add the transmission fluid. I've got here a setup. I have basically two coolant hoses, two old coolant hoses connected together and that will allow me to have the fan on top here. I've done this before so make sure that they are connected very well and everything will work perfect because through these hoses we're not going to be a lot of pressure just the fluid will go through so let's add the fluid i removed 4.3 liters and i added 4.3 liters with approximation now let's take out this hose and we can check the level with the dipstick all right, so we've got two measurements for cold and hot. Again, it's very important to check the fluid level before you do this job so you can know exactly how much to add. And you can do the check in different conditions. Like, for example, when the car is flat, you check the level and note it on the paper. Then when the car is hot, you check the level, note it on the paper. Then when the car is cold, basically this job, it's all about that you have to add exactly the amount you removed okay guys so that was pretty much it if you like this video give it a thumbs up also if you want to really help me out click that subscribe button as well so long story short stay tuned and i will see you soon